Let's take you live to New South Wales now. The, the Premier, Chris Minns, is speaking live. He's announcing new changes to bail laws. And this passed the State Cabinet, this passed the, the Cabinet last night. Then it will be put to Parliament later this week. So let's get some detail from him. So we have to invent and create that particular regime in the state. That's going to take some time, but the Cabinet Office will lead that effort in conjunction with the Department of Communities and Justice and other government uh, offices and departments in the, period, in the next period of time. Uh, we are also proposing to make changes for registrars to hear serious domestic violence bail applications in regional communities, but that will take some time too, mainly in relation to the capital expenditure to ensure that particularly for regional and remote courtrooms, many of which were built at the beginning of the last century, are in a position to have CCTV back into Sydney or other major centres of population so magistrates can make those decisions. Now, this is a comprehensive package in relation to criminal justice reform. It's in addition to the $230 million of additional money the government announced two weeks ago for domestic violence prevention programs in our community, early intervention programs, money directly to not-for-profit organisations that are providing help and support to victim survivors in the community. Not everyone will support these changes, but we believe they do balance the rights of an individual and his or her presumption of innocence, as well as the right of a victim survivor to be safe from harassment, intimidation or further assault at the hands of a previous intimate partner. I'm going to pass over to the Attorney-General. Thank you, Premier. Good morning, everyone. Good to see the sun out. As the Premier said, these uh, suite of reforms that we are bringing to the Parliament this week rec uh, recognise the balance in the judicial system between the presumption of innocence and keeping the community, particularly keeping women safe from their abusers. Um, the Bail Act is all about balance and these measures that we are bringing to the Parliament, we say, strike that balance. We've had excellent consultations with a large range of stakeholders in the legal community, both within government and outside. We've also had some very, very productive meetings with uh, the Minister for Women and Prevention of Domestic Violence and peak groups in the sector, including an excellent meeting on Friday where we took them through these proposals. Um, they were very grateful for us sharing those proposals with them. Those discussions were very fruitful. And so we, we believe that this suite of measures that the Premier has just gone through does strike the right balance.